Hey, welcome back everybody. It's been a while since we have had a TTM video and we are loaded up today with 14 TTMs. We're getting autographs. TTM through the mail. We've got one that's extremely old stamped. We'll put that somewhere in the middle. We've got two from Pittsburgh. Uh, we'll put those in the middle as well. First one from San Diego, California. We're sending our favorite athletes, celebrities, cards through the mail. No photographs today. Now this uh, is my old letter opener. Let's just rip it open Chris and Chris style, shall we? <laughs> Houston pitcher, Tom Griffin. 74 top, 75 and 74. And a nice index card. So Math Bowler get Mr. Griffin earlier this week. 75-year-old right-handed pitcher. Signed an index card for Math Bowler, too. Played 14 seasons altogether, 69 to 82. We'll put those two 74s together. Uh, first eight with the Astros. Final with the Pirates in 82. That's why Math Bowler was interested in getting him, I'm sure. Likes that Pirates collection. And uh, struck out 200 batters in 69. Let's see here. Exactly 200 his first year. And... That was only the second time in Major League history that one team had three different pitchers with 200 strikeouts. Larry Durker, the, the late Don Wilson, who was killed tragically at the height of his career. And Mr. Griffin on the last start, 200 Ks exactly. Only the second time in history that had been done. But just over two weeks for Mr. Griffin, no fee. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 days, no fee Tom Griffin. And next one up, Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. How do you say the capital of Kentucky? Is it Louisville or Louisville? Neither. It's Frankfurt. And that's got to be Junior Bridgman. Big guy. <laughs> 77, 78 tops. Huge cards. We love to show the difference in size. Look at that. <laughs> that was in a pack of cards back in 1977, 78. And he signed it nicely in black to match the black of the uh, outline of the jersey and the print of the card. Nice. Get that back quickly. Ten days. No fee. Send him every six months or so. He's 70 years old. Great basketball player. 13 seasons, 75 to 87. And number two has been retired by the Bucks. 13 and a half points, three and a half rebounds. But maybe more famous for what he did after his playing career. He is the owner of Ebony and Jet magazines and a very, very rich man. They say he's worth over half a billion dollars. So, great career on the court and great career off the court after retirement for Mr. Junior Bridgman. That's really cool. Like I said, 10 days, no fee for him out of Louisville. Tampa, St. Pete. Tampa. St. Petersburg. We got to get that in there. That's weak. That's weak. Weak sauce. Need a better letter opener than this. I don't know where my famed black letter opener is. I'll need to get another one. There's Gene Lamont. First time ever, Gene Lamont. Pirates coach there and manager for a few seasons. Long time coach. Already signed by Laren Legro on the 71 Tops rookie. That's pretty sweet. Like I said, first time we've ever sent a Gene Lamont, even though I was a big Gene Lamont fan. As a coach for the Pirates and a manager, of course, i got to support my hometown man. 76-year-old uh, played catcher, as you can see right there. Tops like to link a pitcher and a catcher on those rookie cards. And uh, again, more famous for his managerial career, what he did after his playing days. Managed about a thousand major league games, 553 to 562 overall record, losing record by nine games. He took over for Jim Leland, and probably going to be going in the Hall of Fame. And you never want to be the guy who follows the guy. And he was that guy. Uh, coached for Leland for a long time, then left for a few years to manage, got a, hired as a manager of the White Sox and was manager of the year in the American League. And then was let go there and came back to the Pirates for a year. And then Leland went to the Marlins. And he took over. 97 to 2000. It's been out over a month. Let's see. Let's add those up. I'll be right back. 
All right, 50, 5 0, no fee. 50 days, no fee. Gene Lamont. And Laren Legros is a great signer as well. Next up, Indianapolis. Indian, this is the old one. This has been out at least a year. Is that stamp? We haven't used these stamps in a long, long time. I don't know if we should rip that. It feels like there's an index card there. <laughs> Dollar Tree envelope. Michael Andretti. How about that? <laughs> I remember I sent out to Mario, his father, and Michael right around the same time. Got Mario back a long time ago. And there's Michael. And he had two addresses, and I went to the Indianapolis one, and that's where it came from. I thought that might be a Carl Erskine because... A long, long time ago, I had sent to Carl Erskine and hadn't received a return. Of course, he's the, one of the greatest TTM signers ever. And it was just either the mail lost it or something happened. So that's still gone. But this is nice. Michael Andretti, Hall of Famer. 61-year-old son, of course, of Mario, I said. Um, man, I have to go off record and count these up as well. But yeah. Great career, as long with just a, not as good as his father, but he was up there and he ended up in the Motorsports Hall of Fame 2008. 42 victories in his career, most in the cart era, and the fourth most all time. Put that right there. You don't have to block the junior Bridgman. Tall boy. He's now a team owner, I believe. And let's go off the record and count those up. I'm going to need a calculator for this one. Exactly a year. Exactly. I've never had one exactly a year. 365 days. 365 days. Pretty cool. Miami, Florida. Florida, Florida. There. Get in there and rip that apart. Come on now. Man, that's a pain. Tom Hutton. Down on the farm. There's my note. All right. Just return my note. Three of three, one with a little smudgy smudge on the 74. 76 and 78. All with those fillies. All with those fills. Apropos, huh? 77 year old first baseman and outfielder. Let's see. First base, first base, first base. All three of those cards shifted to outfield later in his career. And he played 16 seasons altogether, 66 to 81. Longest stint with the Phillies, six years with them. And last I heard was doing color analysis for the uh, Marlins. Just under two weeks, no fee. 13 days, no fee. Tommy Hutton. And notes not signed. Let's see the index card returned. All right. 13 days, no fee. Here's the one from Pittsburgh. We'll do these back to back. Pittsburgh's. It's a Berg thing, baby. Well, darn it. <laughs> Definitely need a new letter opener. The black one cuts through like butter. George Doc Medich. There's the 276 tops. The traded issue got traded to this hometown Buckos. The Pirates get their doctor. He's a Pittsburgh native. And he only played that one season with the Buckos. But uh, George Doc Medich, and he literally was a doctor. He started going through medical school in 1970 during his playing career, 74 years old. Played from 72 to 82 in the major leagues. Was getting his medical degree from University of Pittsburgh. Got that in 77 and still pitched till 1982. Then he began practicing medicine and did that for a while. Doc Medich. Pitched one season with his hometown Pirates, 1976. Finished 124 and 105 overall. Great career, 11 seasons. I'll take him on my team. And uh, that's a real quick return there. Eight days, no fee. Eight days, no fee. Doc Medich. Next up, all was so from Pittsburgh. Well, let's see who we got here. Lord, it got it through there. <laughs> Big Daddy, Rick Russell. Three of three. Saw some other folks get him back. Who got him back this week? Let's see. Saw Mike from the Hot Corner get him back. And maybe Johnny Serena, too. I forget. Got him back this week. 
four, he's uh, 74 years old, 20 seasons overall, 72 to 91. First 10 is a Cubs legend. All three of these cards from the Cubs legend. Yeah, great career. Played three with the Pirates, 85, 86, and 87. Big Daddy. Nice career. 214 wins, three All-Star games, and two gold gloves, if you can believe that. Not the sveltest of athletes, but gotta get off that mound. Cat-like quickness. Rick Big Daddy Russell, who knew? He's in the Cubs Hall of Fame. Told you he was a Cubs legend. He's in the Giants Wall of Fame for his time with the Giants. Seven days, no fee. Glad he's still signing. Rick Big Daddy Russell. All right, Charleston, South Carolina up next. Charleston, SC, not WV. Not the capital city. It's the capital city of West Virginia. Columbia is the capital city. Hey, look at that. Thank you for asking, Paul McGuire. Nice, nice, nice. And that is the 61 um, Tops and 61 Fleer. Second year cards. It's very similar poses, as you can see. Same card, basically, same photo or same artwork. His rookie is the 60 Fleer, 60 Tops. Don't think issued a card of Paul McGuire, but yeah, great player. He's um, 85 years old now. I have to end up blocking J Junior Bridgman's autograph. Cool note card there. Thanks for asking, Paul McGuire. You're welcome, sir. Can't see that very well. Nice. I got the uh, rookie 60 Fleer. 60 Tops did not issue McGuire card. I am fairly certain. I think I just said that. But yeah, really solid play. But for, people forget how good of a player he was because it was um, what he did after his playing career, much like Mr. Bridgman. Of course, he became a longtime uh, football announcer. He did a really great job there. But as a player, three-time AFL champion with the Chargers and Bills. And two-time AFL All-Star, which is their version of the Pro Bowl, as I always say. Three times he led the league in punting. Uh, so he became a broadcaster for college and NFL games for 35-plus years. He'll probably end up in the broadcaster's wing of the Hall of Fame, much like Bob Trumpy. you got to believe that's going to happen at some point. Great broadcaster. 14, 15, 16, 17 days, no fee, Paul McGuire. Tampa, St. Pete. i got to hurry through these. Oh man, oh man. There's Davy Johnson. Nice. Paul Blair is no longer with us. That card will go to bed. And he also signed to get a little shaky there, I might add. Signed the nice index card there. He does have a $5 fee. Usually just signs one per. I got the bonus index card and I'll take it. Like it. Second time I've sent him the 65 tops. First time I did not get it back from manager extraordinaire Davy J. Yeah, glad to get that one back. Sent $5. He sent me two for one. 80 years old now. And another guy who's kind of overshadowed for what he did after his playing days, but he had a great playing career. Four times All-Star, three-time Gold Glover. Won two World Series as a player. Those Orioles only played 11 seasons, but he did a lot in those 11 seasons, 65 to 75. But as a manager, he won almost 1,400 games and another World Series winning with those 86 Mets. So you got to believe he'll be in the Hall of Fame someday as a manager. But a uh, really solid player as well. Seattle, Washington up next. Seattle, Washington. Throw the fish at the Pike Place Market. There's another biggie, Sven Nader. Nice, 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 nice. Hey, nice. Pretty sweet, Sven. Another big 77, 78. And that may be his rookie right there. I am not sure. No, must not be. Thought it might be, but three of three from the old Sven, who um, was drafted in the first round out of college after never starting a game in college. Played behind a guy named Bill Walton at U uh, UCLA. Never started a game and was a first-round pick and was a multiple-time All-Star. 
73-year-old, 6'11 center. Uh, 13 seasons in the ABA and NBA, 73 to 85. Two-time ABA All-Star and ABA Rookie of the Year in 74. What did he do in his rookie year? Yeah, 14.1 points. Not bad. Not bad at all. About 13 rebounds a game. That's what he averaged over the course of his career. 12.5 points, 11.5 rebounds. But yeah, great player. 10, 11, 12 days. No fee for Sven. Carol Stream, Illinois. Carol Stream, Illinois. Again. <laughs> I'm failing miserably on the letter openers. Tim Stoddard. Carol Stream. Everybody thinks it's going to be a Sandberg return. 284 Fleer and 83 Fleer. Nice. And this guy was a big old boy. Pitcher's got a big butt, right? 6-7. Played basketball at North Carolina State, as it says. Won a championship ring with the uh, David Thompson uh, NC State champions. And then he won a World Series ring in 83. Not too many players have done that. I don't think anybody's done that. I think uh, Kenny Lofton played for a championship and then won a ring. But he may be the only person to ever do that. Tim Stoddard, 70 years old, 15 seasons in the big leagues, 75 to 89. And that's just one year removed from winning the uh, national championship. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. 10 days, no fee for Tim Stoddard. Cleveland, hello, Cleveland, Ohio. Hello, Cleveland, hello. We can rip this one. Pretty sure. Uh-oh, got a card in there. Hope it's not signed. Ah, oh, there's Ernie Kellerman. 272 tops. And a note card. I'm glad I didn't rip that. Ernie Kellerman, old number 24. Browns, Bengals, and Bills. Triple Bs. Got a great signature. Love that. His rookie is the 69, I believe. That's his third year card. Kellerman. Played uh, quarterback in high school, or in college, at Miami of Ohio, home of Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah, then he played safety in the NFL. Had a pretty solid career, rookie of the year in 80, uh, 68. And uh, made the Pro Bowl that year. And then he was second team All-Pro in 69. Played nine seasons altogether, 65 to 73, in exactly two weeks. 14 days, no fee, Ernie Kellerman. Last up, Raleigh, North Carolina, Research Triangle Region. <laughs> crazy, 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 crazy. All right, who is it? No plum. Look at that. 19, they're speaking of the 60 tops. That's the 60 tops that did not make a uh, Paul McGuire card. But that's it right there. Another longtime Cleveland Brown, much like Mr. Kellerman. And never teammates, I don't think, because he was done in 69. Kellerman got there in 68. So, uh, Milt Plum's time with the Browns was early in his career like this 60 tops. 57 to 61 with the Browns. Two times Pro Bowl, NFL passing leader, 1960. And three-time uh, passing completion percentage leader, NFL Eight days, no fee for Milk Plum. Hello, Cleveland. Back to back Browns to end up. So what'd you think? Long video, 14 returns. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what your favorite was. Hope you didn't miss me too bad over the course of last week when there were no TTM videos. They get backed up. We bring them all to you. Let me what you think down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, we try to do this twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays. We'll get back to it on a regular basis very shortly. If you missed the last TTM video we did, I'll leave a link to that one right there. Thanks for being with me today, though, and we will see you soon!